You know, more Las Vegans are dying of fentanyl overdoses than ever before. In 2020, Clark County saw a record number of 193 people die, a nearly 200% increase from the year before. And this year, in just the first six months, 146 Southern Nevadans have lost their life after consuming a drug laced with fentanyl. I sat down with Christina Perkins. She lost her teenage son to a fentanyl overdose. Still grieving the un unimaginable loss, she hopes that sharing her family's story prevents the same tragedy from happening to yours. He was like the light of the room. You could be having a bad day and he turned it around. A mama's boy with a bright future ahead of him. He was supposed to graduate early. Sadly, that day would never come. Just weeks into his senior year, Christina Perkins' son, Gio, died of a fentanyl overdose. He was complaining about being sick. And so I took him to the doctors and they said he had strep throat. She says the medicine Gio was prescribed wasn't helping ease the pain. So he found something he thought would, Percocet, an opioid pain pill he purchased through Snapchat. What Gio didn't know is that that pill was laced with fentanyl. A tiny speck of the synthetic opioid can kill you. He was only 17. Gio is one of many Vegas teens who've died of fentanyl overdoses in the last year. They get this from a dealer or social media or a friend. Just last month, Metro's Lieutenant Brandon Clarkson and Sergeant Miguel Garcia were on Fox 5's Behind the Badge to talk about the alarming trend. They think they're taking a pill, a Percocet, a Xanax, or something that's not laced with fentanyl, and they end up dying uh, because of it. The only sure way to avoid falling victim? Don't take anything that isn't prescribed by a doctor or purchased from a pharmacy. What do you miss the most? I don't think there's anything that's more than another, you know? I just miss him, period. All of him. <laughs> Running around the corner, dancing and screaming and, you know, just laughing. Like I sit on the couch and I'm just like, I wait for him to run around the corner and he's just, he's not coming. Determined to save other families from suffering the same fate, Perkins' heartbreak and pain now fuels a greater purpose, Geo's World, a nonprofit organization she created aimed at raising awareness. In the beginning, I was just giving out bracelets. I made bracelets for all the kids. Then we got stickers and then now we have t-shirts and sweatsuits. And on Friday, October 22nd, on what would have been Gio's 19th birthday, you'll start seeing several of these billboards displayed around town. Perkins hopes they spark a life-saving conversation. If the parents see it, you know, maybe they can go home and talk to their kids about it, you know, or their grandkids. I just want everybody to see it and understand that it's real. Well, the Perkins have already paid to have 10 billboards up for six months, but their goal is to keep these PSAs up for a year. But at a cost of $3,000 a month, they need help. The family has launched a GoFundMe to help with the pricey cost. You can check out their Facebook page, Geo's World, or their website, geosworld.com. Now, if you know someone that's struggling with addiction, we'll have a list of resources to help on fox5vegas.com later this morning.